Okay, so for the second problem, what we're looking at is a problem that's now in vertex form, right? So this is in vertex form, and the last one we looked at was in standard form. Both forms, you can still find vertex, axis, asymmetry, everything, right? They're just written in a different fashion. So in vertex form, I like to set what's inside equal to zero. It's, it's h comma k, right? So vertex form is A times the quantity A, I don't know why it's doing this, times the quantity X minus H squared plus K. We know that the vertex is opposite of inside right now. So it's 52.5 comma 45. So we know right here, let me come over here. We know that the vertex is opposite of inside, so it's 52.5 comma, number on right, 45. And we can add units later. Like we said before, x represents your x-axis, right? So in this case, this is our x and up and down is the height of the kangaroo, your y, right? So we know that y represents the height of this kangaroo. And let's read the word problem. So the function where x is horizontal distance. Okay, so the x-axis represents the distance Horizontal, horizontal distance, right? This is horizontal distance, and then this is y, the vertical distance, how high it jumps off the ground. Okay, so when it says, what is the kangaroo's maximum height? Max and min's, you wanna go to look at your vertex. A max and min is always the y coordinate of your vertex. We call this a max because it's, the upside down parabola, right? And the vertex is the highest point. So our max value is 45, and then that also represents the height, the max height that the kangaroo jumped. So the kangaroo jumped 45, and the units are feet. How long is the kangaroo's jump? Now we have to be careful. The kangaroo's jump, although 52.5 does represent x, right? 52.5 represents the halfway point, right? Because the halfway is where you will find the axis of symmetry in the vertex. So the answer is not 52.5 feet. We actually have to double it, right? So how long is the kangaroo's full jump from when it starts? And if it keeps going until it lands, you have to actually take that x value and you have to double it, right? Because this x value, again, is just to the halfway point. Say so we have to double it. So 52.5 plus 52.5 will get us the kangaroo's jump, okay? My pen, this pen is very slow. So the kangaroo has jumped in total from start to finish 105 feet. So again, the kangaroo maximum height, y coordinate. Because our vertex, the y coordinate represents our max value, so 45 feet. How long is the kangaroo's jump? We look at the x, because that's horizontal, that's its jump. We have to double 52.5, the x coordinate of the vertex, because that's only halfway, and we get 105 feet. Now if it said, um, how, you know, how far out was the kangaroo in terms of its jump when it reached the max height, you could say 52.5. But anyways, so to answer the two questions, what's the kangaroo's maximum height? It's the y coordinate of the vertex, 45 feet. How long is the jump? We have to double that x coordinate distance. 
to complete that full jump, right? So 52.5, if this is 52.5 plus 52.5, that gets us 105 feet. Now something again I want to point out, we said that the kangaroo's max height was 45 feet. And we use the word max because when you look at this parabola, since the A value is negative, right, it looks like, like this picture right here. So the vertex is the highest point or the max. But if your parabola looked something like this, like a U, your vertex would actually be the lowest point. So it doesn't matter what your equation is, but based on where your vertex is, you would then say max or min. So if it was U-shape, you would say min, the min value is blank, and the, it's the y-coordinate. If it's upside down U, you would say the max value is blank, whatever the y-coordinate is. Okay, that's it. So now try the two practice word problems. They're similar to these. Again, you can come on Zoom at 11.